Pixel Adventures. My name is Amarillo Sky, and today we are going to begin our first Let's Play of the game Trove. Trove is a very boxy, pixelated game where you run around as either a swordsman, a dual gunner, gunsman, one of those two, or a fey trickster, and you pretty much conquer the world. It is, as you can see, a little bit like Minecraft, but it most certainly has its differences and is worth playing. Also, unlike Minecraft, look at this, you get a little raptor. Look at it. This is my little raptor buddy. I really don't know what to name him. We will figure that out together. So if you have any ideas, let me know, and we will name him that. We will have a public vote. You know the maybe 10 viewers I have. I probably don't even have 10 yet. But hey, that's what hard work is for. Also, right now I am in just a main world. I can attack things, but I can't really do much else. Let's piss off this beautiful little butterfly thingy. So, oh, the, I think that was a bird. But, oh, look, healing potion. So, <coughs> what we're going to do is, I'm sorry, I'm trying to jump higher than I believe I can. We need to find a portal that, ooh, is that DNA? We need to find a portal that leads to... An adventure world. Now, an adventure world, and it looks like there's some up here. An adventure world is a world where you go and you adventure, obviously. Well, there's different levels. So, there's the adventure portal for novice adventurers, and there is the adept adventure world ideal for levels 4 through 5. There are also many, many more, but I have yet to see them. And I know they're there because there's a lot of players that can go to them, but I can't. So, I am a level 3 fey trickster. I have run around a little bit to get the hang of things. As you can see, I have 16 bombs on Q. On R, I have 10 healing potions. And on T, I have 3 portal potions. So, let's get into it. We are going to go to the novice world to begin, just to get the hang of killing things. Ow. I just took fall damage. That was depressing. So, we are going to run around now. As you can see here, someone op opened a Journey's Beginning Portal or Ogre Mines, and that is how you get back to this place right here. So, ignoring that, we are going to head out into the big scary world and see what we can't find. Now, if I remember correctly, up here is a dungeon. It looks like someone's already busted it open and killed whatever's inside. What was that? Anyways. Yeah, it looks like... Can I have that? No? It looks like someone's already been down here. Maybe. You know, this is kind of scary. Oh! Look at this, a jump challenge. Okay. So I have never been down here before. Are those... Those are. Those are graves. Okay. So let's see what we can find. These are spikes. If you step on them, it obviously hurts a bit. Actually, quite a lot. So we're going to heal and keep going. I wish I could take these with me. I don't think I can, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so... <coughs> yes, it does indeed look like someone's already finished this. This is what a dungeon looks like. The boss is not down here, which means someone has most definitely already busted it open, killed whoever was inside, and taken his goodies. And... Ow! Ow! Obviously, I'm not great at jump challenges. That should be fixed as we progress thir further and further into the series. <laughs> But until then, oh, by the way, you can just kind of flutter up the stairs. I've got this nice little pair of wings. Look at my wings. Where's where's Rafty? Rafty's gone. Okay. So I think I pissed something off because I keep hearing the, the little da-da-da-da-da, which is like a mushroom saying you upset something. Maybe. I keep hearing it. Okay, we're going to ignore it. Because obviously it's nothing. But I obviously also just lost my little raptor friend. And hopefully he will show his cute little face. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hi. Okay. He's back. So anyways, so there's these things called cornerstones. And here's one right here. But this one is ro owned by Rolling Thunder. That's interesting. And so I can't take that cornerstone. Now, if I find another cornerstone, I'll show you what a cornerstone looks like. Because a cornerstone is your little way of having your own property. Okay, there's one up there. there it looks like an empty one, at least. And... What you do is you claim the cornerstone, and you can claim any cornerstone over and over and over again, and all your stuff will just magically transport to it. And I will show you what I mean by that, because I already have a cornerstone. I don't know where it's at right now, because... What's that? 
A golden soul? Is that safe? Do I want that? Okay. Anyways, I already have a corner soul stone. Not soul, corner stone. And so, if I walk up to this little thing, it says press E to claim. So I'm going to press E. Oh, look. Yes, Amarillo Sky's already got a house going. Yes, I will change this. If you guys don't like what it looks like, let me know, and I will change it to your liking. If we come in here, I have this beautiful firefly head mounted. I also have this little moth head mounted. So that's great. I have a class changer, which if we open that up, there is the knight, the gunslinger, and the fey trickster. In the comments below, if you want me to play something else, let me know. Episode 2, I will change, and we will try out every single one. I have a barber shop, which if you just open that up, you can change what your character looks like. Mine right now has the Viking bun with a skin tone of three. Of course, I'm a lady, so I must also look like a lady. And my eye color is red, so I am going to exit out of that for now. I will also change that if you wish me to. I also have the crafting bench and the formicite crafting bench. So if we look at the crafting bench, there's not a lot of things I can build, you know? But there is a cube converter which changes primal color blocks into other color blocks placeable only in homeworld or corner cornerstone. So we could have that. A workbench uses to craft decorative objects placeable only in homeworld or cornerstone. So I have 80 shape stone. I need 60 for that. So yeah, that's what I can do with that. I also have the formicite crafting bench which heart homeworld heart allows others to indicate their appreciation for your homeworld. Interesting. But, unfortunately, I need to go out and I need to gain levels. So this is just the beginner's world. So actually what we're going to do is now that I'm level 3, I know it says level 4 and 5, but we are going to go into the Adept Adventure World. So we're going to press E to enter and we're going to fall to our deaths. Ow. Al Alkale Falls, is that what that said? Map. Alkali Al Falls? Okay, so this is actually a bit scary. I will admit it. I've never been to a world like this before. And so this is actually kind of intimidating. Can I have that? What color is that? That's, that's pretty. I want that color. What color is that? Primal red block. Ooh. Okay, so what's that? So this is actually kind of interesting. I've never seen anything quite like this in any game. This is pretty cool. Wait, so what color is this? That ain't green. That ain't green. Anyways. So. The grass is confused. Very confused. Go home, grass. You're drunk. Anyways. So we've got this interesting monster up here. So I will show you a bit on attacking. I am face. So I can shoot things from a far place away. And so it's pretty simple. You kind of just keep shooting and it dies eventually. Isn't that how most games go? And it kind of shatters into a billion little pieces. So it looks like it didn't really drop anything for me, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We also have some skills down at the bottom, if you can see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack and check out some skills. So we have an, one skill, which kind of just blew up a bit in his face. But we also have a right mouse button skill, which builds a clone of ourselves. And the monster will focus on that clone while you are teleported away and given the chance to... Is that what I think it is? Guys, look, railroad tracks. Anyways, it gives you a chance to... Can I, can I not? Oh, it's a mine shaft, guys. Anyways, that gives you a chance to run away and gain your life back, guys. I think we just found another dungeon. Okay, so I now know we take... Okay, so there is something down there. We're going to try to... Uh, it sounds like someone's already down here fighting. Ow! <laughs> Owie, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt badly. Okay, so there is someone down here, in fact, fighting. So we're going to aid him in killing this guy. I want that. I totally just took that. Okay, so. That was interesting. So we just picked up something. So we're going to open up our inventory and go to equipment. And we just picked up the uh, Mystic Moon Staff, which has got 66 magic damage. 62 magic health and 19 health regeneration, but I have to be level 4 to wear that. So what we're going to do is, we're totally going to... Is that lava? I have never seen lava in this game before. That looks interesting. Okay, so we're going to just kind of... I wish I could have... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I wish I could kind of take the lava... Okay, this is going to... This is a... Okay, so it's like a bridge. Okay. Cool. I'm kind of actually a little bit scared because there's usually this beautiful double jump feature 
but it hasn't been working for me. So I don't know if I'll be able to take the jump. Okay, second day. Owie! Okay. So, Ominous Totem. Should I unleash it and risk dying? Yes, I should. Because, you know what? For your amusement, I'm going to get my butt handed. I made a mistake. <laughs> Ow, fell in the lava. Go, go, go. Please, please, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Where'd they go? Did I win? No, I didn't. Guys, it totally knew that I was not good at this game and ditched on me. So... Ow, I'm going to fall in the lava and die. Okay, no, I didn't die. Okay, how do I get out of here? Okay, so I have to come over here. Do we want to try again? We'll try again. Because you know what, guys? You know what? We're stupid. We're stupid. We don't know how to play the game. We're getting our butt. We died. You lost. You are 500 less magical. What the? You are 500 less magical, and it said something. What am I? Oh, I'm hitting Q. I'm throwing bombs, guys. I couldn't tell what I was doing, but let's do it again. Green, orange, and gray blocks. Sweet. Okay. So, I don't know why I didn't throw bombs. I didn't realize if I just kind of threw them, they blew up. I thought I had to, like, activate them or something. So, we learned a lesson today. First of all, let's not piss off something we know we can't beat. Second of all, second off, let's not piss off multiple somethings we can't beat. And third off, throw bombs. When in doubt, blow it up. That'll be our new saying. When in doubt, blow it up. Now, I know that won't apply to most games, but hey... It's a saying worth living by. So, oh, that was a uh, bottle plant? Yeah, sounds weird, doesn't it? A bottle plant you destroyed, and it gives you bottles. So if we open our crafting menu by pressing V, we can make more health potions, because God knows we need them. So we'll make some of those. It kind of sounds like you're leveling up in Mario or something. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, so we just we just made a whole bunch of health potions. Now we have seventeen. Okay, so I'm glad. I didn't know if I heard something or if it was just me. Apparently, I did hear something. Okay, so look, we killed something again. We're amazing. Not really. But look at my little wings flap, flappy, flappy, flap. Oh, uh, okay. So there's a cornerstone over here. So we're gonna run and claim that cornerstone, just so we have a safe place to stop this video. And yeah. So, let's see if we can not fall to our death. That'd be fantastic. That would be great, wouldn't it? But, you know, I'm not great at this, so I die. I fall to my death. I'm a fool. But, hey, isn't that what makes this fun? So, here we go. Cornerstone. Claim, por favor. So, looky here. We are back in our cornerstone. We have explored a little bit. And I want to thank you all for watching my video. Have a fantastic night. And I will see you all in the next episode.